back to So Biased. For today's video, I'm going to be making a Vancouver Canucks themed pinup dress, and it's going to be based on the Vogue 2903 pattern, which is a really lovely vintage pattern that they released back in 1957. This dress is going to be made for a friend of mine, and she is a huge hockey fan and a huge Vancouver Canucks fan. So the dress is going to be the standard dress pattern, and then there's going to be a huge applique of the Vancouver Canucks logo on it, as well as a bunch of other accessories to make it kind of the perfect hockey pinup outfit. To make it, I have found this beautiful blue satin. Yes, it's another blue dress, but it's the Vancouver Canucks color. So it was either that or white, and white dresses are a bad idea. So it's going to be blue satin with the white, blue, and I think it's like a uh, maroon burgundy applique on it and so because it's not for me and because it's for my friend I am going to start off by doing a mock-up in muslin and that's going to be this video is we're going to do the muslin mock-up of the pinup dress we're going to do some fittings we're going to take it in a bit we're going to do some remeasuring and refitting and then in the next video we're going to make the actual gown so for now let's get sewing Okay, so pattern pieces are all cut out. Um, I didn't mark a lot of, like, there's a lot of pleating. Yeah, it looks like, according to the pattern, that the skirt is, like, box pleated. I'm curious to see how that's going to work. Um, I'm not going to do most of that because that's kind of a finishing thing, and this is a mock-up, and I don't care. And I'm also not doing sleeves because... I don't like them, and the friend I'm making them, making this for does not like them either, and also sleeves of the devil. So yeah, no sleeves. Um, so I'm also not doing any of the stay stitching or some of the finishy things that are called for in the pattern, because again, this is a mock-up, and I don't care. I cannot be arsed. Uh, so we're going to get started. Um, piece number one. This is, I think, center front. Yeah, so this gets sewn together. Let's start with that. Okay, something I totally forgot. Seam allowance. Quarter inch. Cool. All right, so next up we have, no, this isn't backwards. I just pinned it on backwards because it fit better. So we have, these are our side front pieces with the, the princess seams you can see for the bust. And these get sewn to either side of the front piece. The front piece actually looks really cute, guys. Like, it has a really nice deep v-neck and God, I'm such a sucker for a v-neck I mean but it has a really nice deep V and these shoulders and so you stitch from the sides all the way down to the bottom and so this and just leaving this blank for uh, the shoulder strap yeah so this will go on to the sides number two goes to number one so the instructions next talk about making pleats and it is very much it is basically a box pleat which is really cool and I'm not going to do that because muck up, but it looks like the back pieces are very similar to the front pieces. So we have that guy and this guy with like the princess seams in the bust. So it says to, this is where the zipper is going to go. So it's right down center back, obviously. So it says that weirdly it wants you to stitch the top and I'm like, how are you going to get into this dress? I have questions about that because boobs boobs are a thing that's gonna be my catchphrase i swear to god so i am not gonna stitch that um i'm gonna start stitching at the second dot here which is where um because the zipper is gonna go between the two dots so all of this is gonna be zipper but yeah so stitch from here to the bottom and then uh stitch the back sides to the back center and then put them all together I think probably not I probably have to do the yoke yeah there's a yoke okay so I'm gonna do some yoke things first what are you doing Mina? what you doing what you doing you see that so the mock-up is done shape looks weird on this hanger but schmeh. so the mock-up is done you can see the top there um it has all of this yoke stuff in it which i decided not to add because it's not going to affect the shape really much other than just having a little more bulk around the neckline and that's fine but you can see just how full this skirt is like look at this ridiculousness 
So I'm gonna do, going to do a fitting and I'm gonna see that it fits okay. And I think the bust to waist ratio is not great. You can kind of see here, it doesn't have as much taper as I would normally like in the waist seam, which is not encouraging, but we'll see. Once we get it on an actual person, it might be a lot different and we'll go from there. But yeah, so this is the mock-up for the Vogue dress. Woohoo! So I did the fitting for the mock-up on Robin. I did not film it because I forgot my camera and am a bad person. So what I did is, can you see it here? I pinned it up on her where it fit and then I drew a chalk line here, there you see it, um, where I need to take it in. So the chalk line goes all the way down and as well as I took up the waist because Robin is much shorter than I am. Um, so I needed to bring the waist up. Each seam has these marks on them and so I am going to cut along all of these marks all the way down and then I'm going to cut on the seam. I also marked the natural waistline so I know where to uh, bring it up to and I'm going to mark, I marked it on each seam so I know where to bring it up to, so where the waist should be naturally. So I made this about two sizes larger to fit her in the hips, um, which means that the bust and the waist is way bigger than it needs to be. So I am going to, it fit pretty nicely on the hips, so I'm going to take in the bust and the waist and then leave the hips as is. So what I'm gonna do, move back here, is cut out along all these chalk lines all the way down and then once I run out of the chalk lines I'm just going to cut down the seam and I'm going to use that as my pattern for her. And yeah, so we're going to do a whole lot of cutting because um, there are petite measurements for this but I found I usually find it easier to just do this myself. Has anyone used petite sizing? Does it actually work? Can I just say I have discovered the secret to saving fabric is apparently being short because take a look at this. This is how much fabric I cut off of the hem and this is just one side. So this is, it'll be double this amount of fabric. This is like almost a yard of fabric. Look at that. Look at how much fabric this is. Oh my God, short people got it made. So yeah, if you want to say fabric, be short. So that's the mock-up. I've done all the fittings and cut it out. So now I'm ready to make the actual dress. So stay tuned for my next video where I make the dress itself. And then part three, where we turn it into the Vancouver Canucks pinup fantasy realness. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. Please comment. Please tell me what you liked. Please give me suggestions for videos you'd like to see or tell me what you're working on right now. I would love to hear from you and see what projects you have on the go. Until then, stay happy and healthy, take care of each other, and see you soon. So, no, focus, focus. Come on, camera, focus. We're working here.